camera rolling, sound rolling, and... Um, almost a year ago, in May, I started writing this set of journals to give myself advice, to talk to myself, and to let myself know that it's gonna be all right, that I needed that encouragement, or I knew what I had to do in my life to change things and to make myself happier and to be happier, and I didn't listen to myself until I wrote it down. I'm torn sometimes. You know, I'm like, well, I can do this by myself, alone, uh, but other days I feel like I can't function without helping or being me or being a happy person to other people and I'm very blessed and I feel like I'm given nothing that I can't handle but sometimes it just sucks. Do not doubt yourself because you never know where you're gonna go in this life. I mean I've been doing this for seven years. People do not know who I am but I feel like what I've been doing in my life is impacting small number of people. And that impact is so much greater to me than ever having a million followers. I feel like things are starting to work out. We're a year ago today. I was starting to questioning, started questioning who I was and what I wanted and what I, who I liked and all those kind of things that like I didn't give myself the opportunity to when I was in high school. I'm looking for that same thing that I was looking for when I was 11, when I started YouTube. I'm looking to find people that make me feel less like a freak and make me feel like I'm, I'm like other people and I'm not crazy and that I, my feelings are similar to other people because yeah, this is normal to feel like this. This is so much greater than me and I am super proud of it and I really hope to help other people with their struggles. Whether you're dealing with identity issues, sexual orientation, self-esteem, body image, all encompassing. Hi everyone, my name is Eddie Oliver Smith and I'm 20 years old. I'm a filmmaker, a YouTube content creator, and I guess now an author. Ever since I could remember, there was this interest in um, storytelling. You know, when I was younger, I found my parents' camcorder and I started recording over all their tapes making videos. So, sorry mom and dad. So, my creative spirit led me to YouTube in 2009 when my muse, my love of my life, the girl that got me through everything, Lady Gaga, I also discovered her around that time and you know, I was really bullied a lot in school and I didn't have a lot of friends and YouTube was a place where I could go to escape everything and I mean, I was a somebody on YouTube and I was nobody. Like I got picked on, punched, hit, called names, whatever, from about fifth grade to senior in high school but YouTube always kept me going and you know, it was this world that my followers and I, my internet friends, we created and in it, we were in it together and we weren't strange and they loved me for Eddie, the person that I was. For the most part, we built this community and in it, we made sure everyone felt accepted and that was always my goal. I am here in Colorado. I'm making this video. I have no idea when it's gonna go up, but I thought I would sit down and take a second to tell you guys something super exciting. I wrote a book and I am currently in Colorado right now doing the rewrite for the book. It's crazy. There's like pages all over. I'm like highlighting, I'm rewriting, I'm 
and I want to take you on this journey um, to kind of do like a documentary, a vlogumentary, um, just kind of giving you the journey that this book has taken me on and how I wrote it and I want to give you guys little insights and little personal stories into um, how I came up with the book. And so I must sit here and I must breathe and I must understand that everything is going to be okay and that I'm just overthinking and that this is all part of it and that I'm stronger than I know I really am. And so, in remembering that, I need to remember to be strong out of it all and I need to remember that it's okay to have cloudy days and it's okay to not be on my A game. And so, thus, I think I'm finally rid this feeling and this negative energy away from me and my body because it's not me and it's not who I am. I have the energy because it's what I love to do and it's who I am as a person, but I also have to take care of myself. I have hope because hope is the is the best and liberating factor of it all. Crying then I can cry. It's okay. This is where a year ago and a couple months, right in this very spot, I broke down completely. I can like remember it like it was yesterday. Um, it was very emotional. And it was like two in the morning and I realized that there was something really wrong. As I had said in the book, I woke up. I really felt like I had woken up from this dream and everything was clear to me that my life was not going the way that it should have been. I wasn't happy in myself. And I'm just really proud of how far that I've come in a year. If I told myself a year ago that I'd be writing a book about these experiences, I wouldn't believe you and I, but it just goes to show you when you finally open your eyes and you live and you tell yourself, this is, this is what makes me happy. This is what doesn't. It's like a surreal feeling. It really is. I'm just really happy, and no matter what I go through from here on out, if I didn't go through this situation like a year ago, I don't know where I would be. And I'm very thankful that I'm so thankful. Yeah, so I went into a therapist's office one day after this breakdown and he told me, Eddie, you have a lot on your mind. You need to write this all down. And so I started writing my thoughts down in a journal and I thought this was the stupidest thing ever. I felt like I was 12 writing like a diary and I wrote 500 pages. And I said, you know what? There's something more to this. March 16th, 17th today. Um, this is the most personal project I've ever done in my life. So this is, this is six months of writings. Right here, it's about 150 pages. It's all text, 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 text. And then I thought I was done in December and then something really bad happened to me and it changed a lot of my perspective on life yet again. I believe that's why things happen. They all happen for a reason. And so this is like the last three months. This is me. This is my life. And this is who I am and who I'm born to be. And I hope I can help other people out there. I'm going to start putting this together now. And I'll keep you updated. But I wanted to bring you guys in on this and let you know what was going on, why I'm in Denver. Um, 
yeah, this trip is gonna change my life and I really don't know how to feel about it. I'm in denial of it right now. I'm like, ah, cause I just got here, but the work begins. So I had no idea how to put this thing together. No idea whatsoever. And so I decided to reach out to kids that I had like been in class with. And so Selfie Love Team has been the number one supporters from day one. You know, I told them what it was. I told them that it was a passion project. I told them that I want this to be something that we're all proud of, you know? And all I'll say is that you never know where you're gonna meet people. Whether it's the gym, whether it's a party, whatever. Yeah. That's the team. Hey guys, we're here and we're, this is, what is it, June, June what? What day is today? 28th. <laughs> 28th. And I'm here with Allie. Hello. This is Allie. I'm Allie, I'm a graphic design student at Columbia College. I'm Where gonna be a senior. Uh, we're working on Eddie's book. Graphic. Yeah, I'm the graphic designer She's for his amazing. book. It's going to be really fun. Can't wait for everyone to see it. So here's our color palette. We created these colors, Allie. Yes, we did. This is gorgeous. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Um, we have some brush strokes here. Oh my gosh. Like, guys, how do I pick? How do I pick? There's like a million brush strokes here. I don't know, in less than 24 hours, she'll be putting this all together. It's crazy to me. Okay, so we're here in some preparations for the book, and I have my amazing, one of my amazing collaborators and friends and person that has like helped conceptualize, artistic direct, basically every freaking thing in the world, because she's amazing. Shelby! Hi. Shelby Sawyer, and we're making pillows here. Yeah, so this is one of the pillows that is for one of the shots with Eddie. Amazing. I can't even sew anything, and she made a freaking pillow. And like, and I'm here with Clarissa. Clarissa, what are we doing right now? We're shooting an alley. We're shooting an alley. In these, look at, here, come tell them how your day has been going and shooting with me. It's been crazy and so much fun. <laughs> Got a little BTS. What's that? The card's full. Card is full. That's a sign. And what is that? That's a rep in day one. Woo! Day one. We it's did done. it. We. I think we got him. Oh my gosh. Hey guys, what's up? So we're here, day two, and we're shooting in the studio today. Um, I'm super pumped. We are. Look at these pictures. Ah! I think that's a wrap. <laughs> wrap on day two? Day two. Woo! And that is, we're done with the pictures. We're done with the pictures. We're done with the pictures. <laughs> Clarissa, everyone. <laughs> Clarissa, everyone. Two days of craziness. We did it. But we had 63 days to do this book. 63 days. Mm -hmm. I'm crazy. It, it's why I'm crazy. And I wanted to have this book for LA. Hey guys, what's up? So it is, oh my gosh, it's June 29th. The moment is here, almost. So we've been working on my book, which has been a process and a half. I never, 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 never thought I would be releasing a book. I had like seen all, you know, the video, like everyone else doing books and I was like, no, I don't want to do that. And I don't think I realized 
how powerful it is to, to want to put your words down in something tangible, something that people can hold, something that people can flip through, something that people will enjoy, hopefully. And I'm sitting here. I remember a year ago, I was just starting to write this book. And now we're sitting here and in a week, week and a half, we'll be printing the book and then shortly after we'll be taking pre-orders and then we will be, the book will be out and my life, like what is my life? Say to every single person, thank you for believing in me, thank you for believing in the project, thank you for believing in everything that I've written and reading my words and reading my everything that's so meaningful to me and my struggles that I went through and not judging me and looking at it and saying, you know what, like this is amazing and people need to see this because every single person that has been a part of it, I've never been so fortunate and so lucky in my life to work with the amount of people, amount of creative, talented people as my team. So crazy. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. The bottom of my heart. There's always going to be challenges with everything. This has been the most emotional ride of my entire life. Um, this book, there was a lot of ups and downs. There was a lot of last minute, um, tiny little changes, things that got messed up. I mean, my books got here two days before the date. And I tell you freaking like crazy, but together my team, really awesome people help me pull together. This is part of the journey and I don't want people to think that this was easy. So I'm nervous. I just want everyone to like it. I just want it to empower people. Yeah, and I just, I want it to be perfect, so. There was this event, we were going out to LA. It was like a pride event, um, a conference, and it got canceled. And I'll tell you, through this whole thing, there's been so comp so many complications. You know, last minute computer failures, last minute this and that, and there's a lot of ups and downs. And even literally the night before, it is now two days, two days before the event, we just got the book. So like, we were cutting it really, 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 really close. There's a lot of things that are gonna go wrong, but, the one thing in the end that goes right is the final product. And there's a lot of tears and a lot of emotions flow in. Talk about bumps in the road. If there's anything that you get out of this documentary, vlogumentary, whatever, it's that life is so uncontrollable. I have nowhere to stay for four days. I was supposed to have hotel with them. I was supposed to be bringing the book out to creators to help share the message, share the love. Um, join in on this journey and we're trying to print the books tonight I'm trying to hold it together i don't know where i'm gonna stay i don't know where i'm gonna sleep i i'm down to my last dime with this book but if there's anything that i've learned it's that there's a reason for everything i'm trying to like find a friend to sleep on the couch something like I can do this. It's not, oh, this is just the beginning. It's gonna be a long freaking road. It's not easy. It's, just, it's not easy, but I want you all in the journey. And I wanna believe that this is like aligning me in the right spot and that I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. And my friends are just telling me to feel the feelings. Well, I'm feeling them really hard and I just don't know what to do. I have a photo shoot in the morning. Not gonna let this ruin it. We're taking pictures of this book tomorrow. I'm gonna figure it out. Oh my gosh! Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh! The colors, they pop. <laughs> That's my photo! That's me! That's me! Oh my gosh! <gasps> oh! Oh my gosh, it's colorful! <laughs> LA Selfie Love Book Tour. So LA ended up a little bit different. Gosh, just so many people out in LA made me feel 
loved. And I went out there with just the intention to say, hey, this is me. And to feel the love from that event and to feel, and then to show people this book and they're just like so proud of it. It just made my day and it's just like, just amazing. Uh, so we're off to LA to promote the book and I'm so excited, I'm so tired. Can you tell I haven't slept at all? We launched the website tonight and yeah, now I'm just here. I'm going to my gate. I'm like an hour and a half early because I thought the airport would be like crazy. But no, so I'm tired, I'm excited, I'm ready. I'm gonna sleep on the plane though. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> oh my god, so it's July 27th. We are here and I am about to click this button to launch my Kickstarter campaign. For the book. This is it, guys. This is everything. Oh my, god, I just did it. oh my gosh. It's life. It's life. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. It's life. So, I made it to LA. Um, minus some setbacks. The setbacks being the conference got canceled. Um, Plans changed. I had to rent a car. Obviously, I'm in a car right now. Um, thankfully, my friend Ari, thank you so much, Ari, for letting me stay. But on the bright side, you know, I say this in the book, and I feel like I'm living this motto right now. So, the, you know, like, when you have all these big plans, and things happen or they don't, something better is out there. I mean... I reached out to some of the YouTubers that I would have met up and we're meeting up and I'm super proud and I think this is the best way to go about this. Um, honestly, I'm going to tell you guys this. I'm going to tell everyone this. I didn't do this book for the money. Like, I don't care. I just want this book to be in people's hands. And so that's what the Kickstarter really is. It helps me, my book get awareness. It helps um, the book get out there. I mean, I need a hundred pre-orders in order to even print. And I think it looks amazing and I'm so so I'm about to go into the post office and send these three off and we'll see. We will see where, what happens. Okay guys, so I'm at the Pride Con meetup. They're just wrapping up there. Uh, RJ and I just got a picture. Here's the little badges. You can see, and I got my book and there's a bunch of people here. I'm so excited. I just am like carrying a bag full of my books. Um, got the car, got a couch, and got my books and then everyone's just kind of out here. Everyone's all over, so there's Cole and everyone, and everyone's outside. I feel like the mom that's just like carrying around their bag, but that's okay. So I'm here in LA. It's been three years since, no, four years since I've seen Five you. Five years. It's been 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm here with one of my mentors. I consider my mentors and friends. He's Olga K. Hi, guys. I'm super happy. Thank you so much. And I'd like to dedicate one of the sections of the book to you, the Melamai section. I mentioned you in there. I know, I bookmarked it, but this is not my copy. It's somewhere. Uh, anyway, yeah. it's in there. My name is in there. I'm so, wow. I'm so thankful because I met this girl when she was 15. And now I'm old. And now he's more so old, but in my mind, he's forever 15. But it really helps that he was 15 to himself. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Thank you. would just recap this trip so I think um, this is one of the first times I've really felt supported and loved I have a new family here in California a new group of people that you know accept me and love me and just being able to meet up with all these youtubers um, LGBT activists and people within you know social media influencers it's amazing to know that they think that my book is amazing and I the, the word here for this trip, which I, I talk about in here, is uncomfortability. Because when I got here, I was really, I didn't know. It was an unknown for me coming here, like what was going to happen. I literally, everything right before I came here was all thrown through a loop. And I just said, you know what, I'm going to get on that plane and I'm going to see what happens. To know that this book is so much more than me, it's a journey. Everyone is along with the journey. And so I'm super happy to be here and I don't want to leave. I'm so sad but I know that I think I did the best that I could to leave a little tiny mark here, a little chip California so that when I come back 
start a new journey and who knows where life's gonna take me this next year. You're watching this and you have a book in your hand. Thank you so much. I cannot control how others look at me. I cannot control what other people think about me. All I can control is me. Peace, love, and positivity. And in hopes that this book actually gets done because this would be great. Really think slowly but surely whether this book is 50 pages or 75 pages or 250 pages, I feel like it will be what it needs to be. We have reached the $2,000 goal for my book, A Guidebook to Selfie Love. So thank you guys so much. I'm all out of tears because I'm just, I'm so emotional. Goal! So thank you so much. Ah! We just made the posters and they look amazing. Oh my gosh. Oh. I want to record Shelby's reaction to open the books because they haven't seen it. We haven't seen it yet. Oh um, this far. So are you excited? Are you ready? Uh, yeah. It looks so good. Doesn't it? Oh my god, we did it. We did it. Oh. Okay, we just missed the reaction, but now Katie. Oh my god, it looks so good. Hey guys, what's up? So we're here at my um book premiere release party here at Hilson Community Books. Um, I'm so excited. Look at my sign. Can you see it? And come on and join me. Come on to my uh, book premiere release. We're here. How does it feel? Pretty good. Oh, oh, we great. have books! And we just got like more press, so we're really excited. Another pre-order we have. Come check out the book. So professional, isn't it? Yeah, it is Look at you guys. You do a really good job. Four and color. Pictures. Look at this. You guys can get it at selfielovebook.com. And it's been a very long project and <laughs> a quick Except project. Except it hasn't. Yeah, it's been quick, but a lot of hours. We've put in a lot of work to it. It's been a passion yes. project and I'm just very this happy to be a great. part of it. Yeah, well, I, I want to do this again. <laughs> yes. This has been fantastic. Okay, for book number two. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Having the team definitely helps with communication. Like yeah. learning, learning how to work with more people. Good learning that you don't have to do absolutely everything yes. yourself. Selfie love. love. Available at selfielovebook.com. Yay! We have something that we can say is amazing that we created and I'm so happy for that. So what I've learned through it all is it's always gonna be okay and you're never gonna be handed anything you can't handle and you can overcome anything. I wrote about that in here, but I will tell you this much. I wanna continue through my art, through my music, writing, filmmaking, wherever life takes me. I just want to tell a story that's meaningful and things that you know, if I can inspire others, that would be amazing. That's all I ever want. I don't care about any any of the money, any of the, you know, fame that comes with it. But when I hear those stories and I get those messages, it makes warms my heart. It really does. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching this vlogumentary um, on my first ever book, A Guidebook to Selfie Love, and I, gotta be honest with you, I poured my heart and soul into this, and it's really, really scary, and I'm really, really nervous, but I know that people are going to love it, and if my 14-year-old self read this right now, he'd probably cry. All I ever want is for you someday soon, whenever it possible to find that little bit of selfie love in you. Peace, love, and positivity. That's selfie love.